Hi, it's Dr. Clark here again. Um, this is part of the Microsoft Word tutorial series. Uh, this is the second in the series, the first in the series we've looked at creating heading number in a table of contents. And we left our document with a table of contents and some uh, introduction and materials and methods section. Um, the next step we want to do in this uh, context is to add some figures and some captions. Um, Word has some automatic caption numbering and figure insertion which is very useful and if used properly can really help make your uh, thesis uh, work uh, nice and smoothly for you. For instance it takes out the effort of having to go through and change all your figure numbers uh, should you decide to add another figure or add another chapter or something like that. So you can actually build, for instance, a thesis in just one big Word document or you can build a thesis in many different Word documents based on the same template um, and then just copy and paste them all in it'll automatically renumber everything. So that's uh, quite a useful little hint. Um, so let's just scroll down through this document and find a section, let's say here during the uh, hypothesis we want to insert a little figure under underneath the word hypothesis. Um, the way I do this normally is I insert my figures inside a table. Um, the reason for this is it keeps it all together and you don't start having your figure legend or your caption disappearing off and finding somewhere else to live. And also it means that your figures are also always in line with the text and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, so first I'm just going to insert a figure um, the old-fashioned way and you can uh, see the kind of problems you might have with inserting figures that way. So I'm going to go to insert and insert a picture and I'm going to insert this figure here which I've prepared for this tutorial. It's just a figure for some research. Um, here's a figure. It's got some um, kind of focal microscopy and some western blots and you can see it's all contained into a single uh, JPEG document. Nice and easy to read and see. Um, first thing is to notice that it moves around now with the text so if I put a couple of carriage returns in the figure moves down, delete them, figure moves up I can grab the entire figure and move it for instance to the end of this paragraph and now the figure is moved to another paragraph um, so it moves around with the text if I undo that and put it back where I wanted it, there we are it's very very nice and handy uh, if you go to the picture tools menu and format and go to position this is where it is, it's in line with text. I would avoid at all costs using any of the text wrapping functions. Uh, always leave things in line with text. It makes life a lot easier. Um, so the wrap text option, just ignore all of that. Do not have floating objects, floating boxes. You can see already, if I just choose through, everything goes horribly wrong. Um, there we are, text appears all over the place. So the quickest thing to do is leave it all in line with text. Um, this is the reason I like using a table, so I'm just going to delete that for a second and then insert a table. So I've just inserted one cell, so it's one by one, nothing complicated, and now I'm going to insert my picture once more and choose my figure. And there's my figure. The table has a, a border around it, I don't much like borders, so I'm just going to select uh, the table and get rid of that border but you can still see a blue dotted line which is part of the table tools layout view grid lines option here you see so I've now got my figure inside a table the great news is here of course I can copy and paste the figure and its legend by copy and pasting the table so um, I'll show you that in a second so there's our figure if I click on the figure and then use the right mouse button I've got an option to do various things, I can cut, copy, paste, etc, change the picture. But the one down here it says insert caption. This essentially is your figure legend. So if you insert the caption, press go, it brings up an option. Um, you can see I've been using my computer for other things and you can see already um, it's set the caption up as figure 1.1. Um, you can choose various options here, label, you can choose it to be an equation, you can choose it to be a figure, you can choose it to be a table. Uh, table of course appears above whereas equation and figure normally appears below the equation also appears above but the figure automatically here appears below and you can see here numbering I can decide that I want it formatted to be a 1, 2, 3 or ABC or whatever and then I can have it with a chapter starting with our heading 1 and then our separator being a decimal place and then a numbering 1 so if I press OK this is going to be figure 1.1. Press OK and this is automatically labelled underneath it figure 1.1. You'll see that the uh, figure 
caption or legend at the moment is in Times New Roman size 9 and it's in the blue color because that's one of the default uh, colors that Word uses. So as before we can highlight this, change it to black, make it a, a size that we're happy, let's put it 11 so it's the same as all the other text and then scrolling down here through our layout there's our caption so right click and go update caption to match selection. So now our caption is going to be set like this and we can type in um, the name of the caption, so um, uh, just just write in this is the figure legend. Um, part of the way that Word likes to then create things like um, table of figures and things like that, if you're going to be using a table of figures, I would advise that you say like figure point one, this is the figure legend uh, for the first figure, then hit carriage return and then this is the main body of the so um let's spell that correctly, excuse me. Um so you can see I've actually put a carriage return in and it's gone back to the standard if you highlight the top here, back to normal font. So this is our caption font, this is our normal font, and you can see now that it's um, set up this way. Um, what I would do if I was doing this as my thesis, I would then make a copy of normal font. So I would um, create a new, uh, go through here and see if there's anything that I can change. Uh, am I going to be using caption? So can I add another style? So if this was my thesis, I would probably want to reformat some of these so they're indented to sit underneath the figure. So the first thing I would do is go to my caption and I would just go up here and choose a little indent, let's say a, a centimeter, that's quite nice. And then I'd choose at the far end another indent of about the same distance so the text will wrap within these two indents and then I'll update that. For the second one of course, if I add indents to it, I'm going to be updating the normal template. So I'm going to change this one here called no spacing which I don't actually use for anything and I'm going to use this as my caption, my legend text. So I'm going to click on no spacing. So now this format is no spacing. I'm going to modify this one and rename it. I'm going to call this caption or figure legend will be the easiest. Okay, and now I can modify this one so that it's indented at both ends and update. So now I can copy and paste this a few times and you can see the figure legend nicely sits underneath the text uh, uh, and supports the text quite nicely. Um, you may also in your captions want to add a little bit of head to it just to give it a little bit of space from your figure and there we are. So now what I've created is a figure in a text box with a figure legend. So let's do that again further down. So in methodologies, let's insert another one very quickly. So insert a table, and then going to insert a picture. Let's just choose this other image that's here, just a screen capture. Right click, choose insert caption. This is going to be figure 1.2. Here is another figure uh, below the selected item. It's automatically called 1.2 because the first one was called 1.1. Um, I'm going to make sure there's a little gap above it and update that and then press return. See afterwards you see it's now going back to the normal font. There's a clever trick around this. If we're in caption we can right click and choose modify and in the formatting you can go to what is going to come next. So for instance here name caption based on style for following paragraph we choose the um, the new paragraph we've just created which go all the way down somewhere it should be called uh, where is it oh it's in no spacing isn't it because we rename that one so now if I click return after here the new paragraph underneath is our newly made new really um, figure legend which is the, the the rename of no spacing so um, I can just paste in all of this text again 
and you can see the legend wraps and looks quite nice so let's just get rid of that box as well and then we've got two figures now figure 1.1 and figure 1.2 now I'm just going to copy figure 1.1 in its entirety so the box so it's the text box I'm selecting the the table and it's selecting the legend and the figure I'm going to press Control C or copy go all the way down to our methods chapter and under here I'm going to paste our table and then underneath here I'm going to paste our table so I'm going to choose the second option which is paste entire cell and there we are you can see it's pasted the table in. This is still called figure 1.1 so if I select everything in the document pressing control A right click and choose update it updates everything including my figure now becomes figure 2.1 so now if I zoom right out you'll see I've got a fairly complicated document with a table of contents, an introduction with a couple of figures in it, and a materials and method with one figure in it. So now I'm going to insert up the top here my figure um, table as well, my table of figures. Um, so I'm just going to call this table of figures. That's size 18, so let's update that to size 18 and make it bold. So underneath here I want to go back to my references I want to go to my uh, table of contents and you see here I've only got a choice of having table of contents however over here I've got this insert table of figures button so if I click on this I can then choose the format I want this to be honest the default format tends to work so I'm just going to press OK and see what happens there we are figure 1.1 this is the figure legend for the first figure figure 1.2 here is another figure and figure 2.1 this is the figure legend for the first figure what well, we called that the first figure so let's go all the way down to the bottom and rename all that second figure go all the way up to the top again and now we can right click on here choose update and now it's relabeled that second figure so you can see how quickly and easy it is to set up a table of contents and a table of figures you can do the same with a table of equations a table of plates um, a table of uh, tables or anything you fancy so anything that has a caption associated with it you can see is all labeled here now the final beauty about inserting figures and captions in the format we've done it here let's say halfway through this sentence here we want to go C figure 1.1 for details. So I've written that in here for C figure 1.1 for details. Well what happens if this suddenly becomes figure 1.2 because in the background section I've inserted another figure. Well that's a bit of a pain. You have to go through your entire document and go does that respond to that figure? And we um, often see documents where it says C figure 1.1 or C figure 2 and in fact they mean C figure 3 because they've inserted another figure at a later date. Um, this is automatically labeled. You can see these little gray lines over the numbers here mean that it's uh, an automatically it's it's a field code, it's part of Word. So I can insert a reference to this actual figure in my text by going insert cross reference which is in the references tab. So I can go cross reference and if I bring this box down you can see I can either choose headings, I can choose bookmarks, I can choose all sorts of stuff and one of them is figure. So I can choose just the label and the number of figure 1.1, press insert, press close. And you can see now it says C figure 1.1 exactly as I had it, but look, it's highlighted in grey. So that's now C figure 1.1 for details. Let's just add another figure above it. So I'm going to copy this, and as before, I'm going to insert another figure just above it. This is now figure 1.1, and this is now, if I right click and highlight and say update, is now figure 1.2. And our text still says figure 1.1. So right click, update it now says figure 1.2. Even better with this software is you can put in brackets and say where it is in relation to where the text is. So for instance, you can go to references, you can go cross reference again, 
and it says here figure only label the number well I can say look is it above or below or is it on a page number so I can go is it above or below choose the same one figure 1.2 press insert and now we have it you see it says C figure 1.2 below um, let's just highlight that figure cut it completely and let's put it in above so let's uh, insert the figure here it's still figure 1.2 because that's where it is in the sequence from figure 1.1 but it's no longer below if you right click and choose update it now says above so you can see how quick and easy this would be you can insert all of your figures automatic legends like this using the caption option and then go through and do all your references within your document um, you can do exactly the same with paragraphs with heading and all the rest so you can go see figure 1.2 above in let's say section what is it it's section 1.2 so you can go in section go to references cross-reference instead of choosing figure we choose heading and it's the heading number which is 1.2 press insert and now it says see figure 1.2 in section 1.2 for details and that's the the numbering automatically done so you can see how word can make your thesis writing incredibly simple uh, incredibly easy and all you have to worry about is the science.